Oh, it's Miles Red song, Bird Miles Red Bird song in New York City. You're looking at the Emperor of the Cosmos, Govinda Singh, Jesus Christ, the Buddha, Santa Claus, St. Valentine, and that's his headquarters at the Dara in India. He doesn't accept money from people who are not disciples. This is Govinda Singh before his beard turned all white. That's Swami J. Now Seth Ranzinger, Jagat Singh. Now Singh Birdsong, Charan Singh. Now one of the twins in my womb, uh, Giancarlo Arturo. And that's all one Singh, my husband, Michael John Spear. Jagat Singh, Singh Birdsong is my son. Seth Ranzinger is my grandson. Govinda Singh is my brother. He is the son of the son, and I'm the daughter of the son. Okay, so let me begin. Let's see, I'll try to keep the camera on them. <clears throat> I sat up in bed just in time to see Mama and Mama Mill walk out the door. What do they have in mind? What does life have in store? Why did they leave me behind? I'm only four. I wonder, will a robber break down the door and get me? If I try to get out this bed, it's so high up, I might fall and hit my head and be bled and be dead, full of dread. I silently said, where's my mama and grandmama? Mama Mill followed. Mama, she was laughing as she led. How will I be fed? Her eyes moved slowly past the chest of drawers with the white crochet piece on top. Then to the brown, itchy, burlap couch, no need to stop. Her eyes rolled through to the kitchen, to the coffee pot. Minnow sees smoke dancing above the table, where the mother and daughter had blown smoke. Her mama mill drank coffee from a saucer. She softly blew the hot caffeine dope. She would softly blow the hot caffeine dope. Mama and Mama Mill walked out on me when I was four. Minnow felt as if somebody spoke. Other life was here a few minutes ago. You're, you're not so alone. You're not without hope. There in front of me sat a square box with edges aglow. I stuck my finger out to touch it. My finger went clear through it. Did I just touch the sun? It didn't burn. It was fun. I lay down and it stretched into a rectangle. I sat up, it shrunk and became a square again. I lay back down and the square did again change its angle. I sat up to see if four even sides transparent. I played the game with the sun a few more times. Then I lay down and stayed down and disappeared into sleep. When I saw Mama, I emptied the worries in my mind. I asked, why did it come and give me such relief? She thought I made up my play date with the sun. Since then, I found out that's where I'm from. He came that day so I wouldn't feel alone. I'm an E.T. I couldn't phone home. That was before my grandson, Alexander Graham Bell, had invented the phone. So the sun came through my window. Now this I have to show you. So the sun came through my window. When do 
Breast W. Do Buble. B U B L E. D for daughter. O for order. B for Buble. Daughter order Buble. He sings and Gorinda sing and sing bird song sing to you so you'll know the world loves you i owe you okay that's the end of that piece this one says i first saw the sun i'll keep it over here i first saw the sun when i was four years old he came to dance with me when mama left me all alone in the house my grandmother hold. Mama told me I imagined the son played that role. When my son Singh was 12 years old, he shone a flashlight and showed me it had been the son with whom I'd had so much fun when I was four years old. I was able to sleep in peace until my mother returned. The next time the sun came to me was every time Aunt Doni put royal crown in my hair. On my way to school, the sun would get so close, he warmed my scalp and made me itch. I'd have to scratch. He wanted me to remember the sun and my royal crown. That personal spiritual guide said, my personal spiritual guide said, there's no such thing as a coincidence. When I was in India in 1979, I prayed to the Lord that I could be myself during my interview with him. He answered my prayers. Only myself turns out to have been five years old. Today I go outside I look up at the sun. He dances for me, changing into many different shapes and colors. Sometimes he's green. Sometimes he's rainbow. Sometimes he's orange or dark. Sometimes he has a glow. And I'm five years old. Yesterday he told me to wear a sweater inside my coat. Sweater decoded. Sun and Sun, we, W-E, at, A-T, H-E-R, her, Sun, Gorinda Singh, and Sun, the Father, Father, highest authority, we, at, her, okay, and uh, so he told me to wear a sweater and sell my coat, and I certainly shall. I obey my dad. Lord knows I've been waiting all my life for him, for my dad. When I was nine years old, I prayed and sobbed every night, pleading for the Lord to send my father to come to Tennessee, Tennessee, to rescue me. When I was in India in 1979, Charan Singh, my personal spiritual guide, asked, which father? Now I know. My father, father. My heavenly father. The sun up in the sky, father. He talks to me. He listens. He touches me. He entered me, put a baby in me. A twin to the baby of Jesus Christ, Gorinda Singh. The twin's name is Giancarlo Arturo. Okay, that's uh, that's it. Those are pieces from the musical. I'm not sure of the title right now. It could be uh, I Surrender to You, Sweet Gorinda. Um, right now I'm leaning toward that as being the title of the musical. Smile Red Songbird in New York. Talk to you again soon.